All right, here is your unit two study guide. Uh, I'm gonna go sort of quickly through here since you can pause and rewind at your own pace. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with learning goal number 11, uh, which is converting fractions and decimals. All right, so the first thing that I wanna remember is that changing decimals to fractions this way um, is really, really easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and all of this stuff I'm gonna take care of first uh, because we just read the number. So when I read this, uh, it is zero and 12, and then you just say the place value, hundredths. Uh, so I have 12 hundredths. Uh, I don't need to put the zero holes. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this one. We have a negative four, so I'll write that as a whole number. And seven, and then we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So all I do is I write seven, and then I put the thousand underneath. So nice and simple. All right, now to go from fraction to decimal, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, we're going to start off by um, seeing if there's any that you can simplify. And so um, I can go ahead and think about a couple things. So step one is, can I turn this 20 into uh, a power of 10? Uh, if I can, then I can obviously divide or multiply. I can't divide because of the 13 being prime, but I can multiply. Uh, so to turn 20 into 100, I can just multiply this by 5 over 5. And then uh, I can create that power of 100. Uh, so I don't want to lose my negative and forget about that. So I have... 100 on the bottom, and 13 times 5 is 65 on top. My other option would have been to do 13 divided by 20 and go ahead and solve that out, uh, and I would have got the same thing, okay? Uh, and so we have negative 65 hundredths, so I can just write that as decimal, which is negative 0, and I just need to make sure... The 65 ends in the hundredth place, okay? Uh, all right, next one. We have 1 over 18. Uh, I need to think, okay, can I create a power of 10 from 18? Uh, I don't know of an easy way to do that, uh, so I'm going to be stuck doing that long division. So we have 1 divided by 18, okay? Okay. Uh, 18 times something gets me close to 1, nothing. Uh, so we go ahead and put our decimal point here, and we can start tacking on our other 0. Uh, that's not going to work either, so tack on another 0. And now I have 18 times what gets me close to 100. Okay, 18 uh, is close to 20, so I know um, 20 times 5 works, so 18 will definitely work. Uh, so 5 times 18... I uh, have 5 times 8 is 40, so I'm just doing a little uh, work here. And then 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 4 is 9, so we end up with 90 over here. Okay, then I can do my subtraction, and end with 10. I'm going to bring down another 0, and so I end up with another 5 again, uh, and we're going to end up repeating here. Okay, um, pay attention to which part repeats. It's this five. And so over here now, I can write the decimal 0 0.05 with the bar notation of the five repeating. All right, down here, learning goal 12, I'll be able to compare and order rational numbers. Uh, so we have 14 sixteenths. Uh, I want to get all these to decimals. Uh, the directions actually tell me to do that anyway, but... Um, it's too hard to change every all the fractions to common denominator, so I want to create decimals real quick. Uh, I can utilize my fraction chart, uh, but I know my fraction chart only goes up to twelfths. So since these are even numbers, I know I can divide by 2 over 2 for this one uh, and end up with negative 7 eighths. Uh, and eighths are definitely on my fraction chart, so I'm going to pull that out here and take a look at what this is. Uh, so I see 7 eighths over there. 
uh, and 7 eighths is uh, point zero, or 0 0.875. Okay, so I have that decimal. Um, let's see, sevenths, negative 8 sevenths. Um, that's the same thing as negative 1 and 1 seventh. Okay, so I'm going to look up what 1 seventh is. 1 seventh is a really long number. So it is negative 1 point, and then I got to get the 1 seventh here. 0, 1, oops, nope. I'm going to be really careful with this one. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 with that all repeating, okay? So again, I'm just getting that um, off of my fraction chart right here, okay? Uh, and then I have 8 tenths, which I know how to write powers of tens. So this is 0, but it's negative, negative 0 and 8 tenths, okay? So I can get rid of my fraction chart, okay? And so I have all my decimals. Uh, in order to compare them, first thing I want to do is notice my positives and negatives. For this one, it looks like I have all negatives. Okay, I don't want to forget that first one there. Uh, and so we're just going to sort them uh, by sort of coldest temperature then. One of the things I want to do is uh, try to get them to have the same amount of decimal places. Uh, other than that big repeating one, I'm not too concerned about that. And then we'll go ahead and look at this. So uh, I have a two zero point eights. Um, I have a negative one hole. So that's the coldest temperature. Okay. Um, it does say I need to order all the original numbers. Uh, so the coldest temperature is going to be my negative eight sevenths. Okay, so that one's done. Uh, now I have 0 0.875, 850, and 800. And you can see why uh, filling in the placeholders is really important. Uh, basically, I'm just sorting 875, 850, and 800. Uh, I'm going to go with the coldest temperature would be negative 875, then negative 850, and then negative... 800. Okay. All right. So we have that done. Uh, now we'll head down to here. Um, this learning goal says you'll be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Uh, so I just need to do KFC to switch back and forth. Uh, so I have my KFC, keep, flip, change, uh, and I end up with negative 3.4 plus negative 0 0.4. I need to go ahead and write the value of those. Uh, so we're always going to look at the addition to solve. Uh, and my value is same signs add and keep. So I have 3.4 plus 0 0.4. Uh, but I'm going to keep the negative. I don't want to forget that, so I'm going to write it right away. And I end up with negative 3.8 as my answer for that section. Uh, next one, I need to go from addition to subtraction. I can just do KFC... Uh, to create the opposite. So I'm going to have keep, flip, and then change. Okay, so we know KFC goes back and forth. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and find the value. Again, I'm using the addition because we're not going to do subtraction. Uh, different sign subtract. And so I have 12.6 minus 3.5. I line up the decimals. Uh, and we get... 9.1. Uh, I need to look at my sign because I don't want to forget that. Different sign subtract, keep the sign of the bigger, which is positive. So I end up with a positive 9.1. Okay. All right. Next, we have our number line. Remember, we are always going to start at zero and look at the first distance. Our trick with this is always going to be to write the numbers above. Uh, so it looks like this is split into fourths. And I know one fourth is 0.25, and so this is going to be 0.75. Uh, since we're only going negative, that's all I have to worry about. So my first one is going to be a negative 0 0.25, and then I need to calculate um, or count my next one. So I have 
a one quarter, two quarters, three quarters distance. So that's a negative 0 0.75 to the left. Okay, so there's my two numbers that we want to identify. The first thing I'm going to do is create my sum or my addition uh, problem uh, because it's literally just writing both numbers. So I start with my negative 0 0.25 and I add my other number, the negative 0 0.75. To create the difference, all I'm going to do is my KFC. And so I have negative 0 0.25, flip, and then change. And there's my difference. I'm going to use my addition problem to find the value. Uh, same, do my song, same sides add and keep 0 0.75 plus 0 0.25. I know that equals one whole. And same sides add and keep, so it's negative one whole. Okay. All right, let's go to the next page. This is all about learning goal 15. Um, I will be able to evaluate expressions involving decimals and fractions. Uh, so we do have to remember a little bit of PEMDAS with this, uh, but overall it's all about remembering how to do exponents, absolute values, uh, and just your operations of rational numbers rules. Okay, so really slow you down and focus on this. Uh, the first one I see absolute value. I know that underneath I'm going to write that number how far we are from zero, uh, basically getting rid of the negatives. And I have 1.5 plus 1.5. Same signs, add and keep. Um, I already know uh, with my mental math that uh, this is two holes plus another, and we end up with three holes as a final answer. Okay. All right, my next one, um, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the exponents first. I know that this, I like to separate out my base is 2 so it's 2 times 2 uh, is 4 so I have a negative 5 fourths uh, for this problem right here okay all right uh, with the negative 5 fourths then uh, for that problem uh, what we're going to do is uh, leave it right at that you don't need to do anything different okay uh, next one, I'm going to do this exponent first. The base is 3, so I know this is 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, So I have 9 times 3, and then 27. And so we end up with 27 divided by negative 6, or over 6. And you can just leave it at that. It doesn't say anything about simplifying in the directions. Uh, and so we're I'm just evaluating it uh, to that number right there. All right, next, notice my base is different for this one. Uh, so the entire thing here is the base. So I'm going to pull this out and show what I have. So I have negative 2 thirds times a negative 2 thirds. Okay, and that's all in parentheses like that. Uh, and so this is a multiplication and I know the multiplication is a love-hate relationship, so I hate to hate, so I actually love, so my answer is going to be positive. We can multiply straight across. Uh, for multiplication, I don't need common denominators, and so I have a positive 4 ninths. And that is it for that one. Okay. All right, now, these ones are similar. The only difference is all fractional answers must be simplified. Okay, but you don't need to change anything into mixed numbers uh, for these. All right, so let's go ahead and look at number 13. Uh, I have an addition problem. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set that up uh, by lining up my decimals. Uh, before I set it up, because it's addition, I want to sing my song every time. Okay, so we have same signs add and keep, different signs subtract. So I'm actually going to do the big number. Okay, minus the small number, line up my decimals, and put in my placeholders. All right, keep the sign of the bigger digit. So I'm going to put my negative down here so I don't forget. Okay, I'm going to do some regrouping here. Uh, regroup again. Regroup again. And we end up 
with 5.73, and that's negative. Thank heavens I put that negative uh, sign there. All right, let's go to number 14. Uh, I can see it's subtraction. I don't do subtraction, so we're going to go to K of C. So keep, flip, change. Same signs, add and keep. We go straight to the song once we get there. Um, since I'm adding and keeping, I know it's going to be negative. Let's go ahead and line it up. Uh, so I have 14.009 oops, plus 22.83 with a placeholder. Same sign to add and keep. I want to make sure I have that sign down below so I don't forget. 9, 3, 8, 6, and 3. And there is my answer. Okay. All right. Let's head to problem 15. I can see this is a multiplication problem. So it's a love-hate uh, relationship. And this one is actually that. So I love to hate. Uh, so since I love to hate, I actually hate. So my answer is going to be negative. Now remember, with multiplication of decimals, you ignore the decimals entirely. Just write the numbers as you see them, and then you look at the decimal placement at the end. Uh, so I'm going to put my larger number on top, and then my smaller number on bottom, and it's multiplying. Uh, it is a love to hate, so I just do want to remember somewhere down here that that's negative and make a little mark there. So I have 6 times 4 is 24. Uh, we have 0 plus 2, uh, 0, and 6 times 2 is 12. Put your zero uh, since we're moving to the tens place. We have three times four is 12. Uh, three times zero plus the one. Three times zero. And three times two is six. Add them all up. And I have my negative there to remember, so I'm going to put that there. Uh, we're going to go up to the original problem and count my spaces. So I have one here and one, two, three here, totaling four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and I end up with four. So 7.2144. And go ahead and highlight that, and we're done. All right, over to 16. We have a division problem. You can do division with decimals. Okay. Um, don't try changing into fractions or anything like that. Okay. So we write it as uh, it says, and we have 52.92 divided by 4.2. Uh, pay attention to your love-hate. So we have I hate to hate, which means I actually love. So my answer is going to be positive. Okay. Now remember our trick uh, is just multiply both these numbers by 10 or move the decimal to the right uh, to make a whole number there and bring up the decimal into the new location. So I have 42 times 1 will get me close to 52. So here's my 42. Subtract, we get 10. Bring down my 9. Okay. Uh, now with the 109, 42 is close to 50, so it's probably going to be a 2 here. Uh, 42 times 2, double it, and we have 84. Okay, um, 109 minus 84, you can do that subtraction, end up with 5, and then 10 minus 8 is 2, uh, so I end up with 25, uh, bring down my 2, and I have a 252, uh, so same thing, let's estimate uh, 42 is pretty close to 40, so 40, 80, uh, 120, 150 is times 4, uh, so probably uh, somewhere around 6 maybe. Um, so let's see, so 42 times 6, you can either do it on the side or sort of look at, just look at the 42 and the 6 there, so 2 times 6 uh, is 12, oops, switched to my eraser accidentally, is 12. Do a little regroup there, uh, and then 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. Jackpot. All right, and then we end up with 0, so we have a 12.6 as our final answer, and it is positive. 
Okay, I made my little note up there so I didn't forget. All right, we have addition. Uh, we like addition, but addition of fractions we know are the pain in the butt ones uh, because we do need common denominators, okay? Uh, so first question is, can I turn the six into the 15? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, so I want to think about a possible least common denominator, so I'm not doing 6 times 15 over 15 and 15 times 6 over 6. That'll be, create a pretty big number. Uh, so always look at the bigger denominator first and be thinking, okay, what are its multiples? All right, I can make 30 for sure out of both of those, okay? Uh, and so to make 30, I'm going to do times 2 over 2. Uh, to make 30 here, I'm going to do times 5 over 5 and rewrite everything down below. So I have a negative 25 thirtieths okay, plus a negative 22 thirtieths. Now they have common denominators. I can go ahead and add. Anytime I'm adding, I sing the song. Same signs, add and keep. So I'm going to add and then keep so I don't want to forget that it's all going to be negative at the end. Uh, it is out of 30, so I just have to add the 25 and the 22. Uh, so we have 25, 35, 45 for 6, 47. We end up with negative 47 thirtieths. Okay. Go ahead and highlight, and we're good. All right, over here, I have subtraction. I do not do subtraction, so we are going to KFC. Uh, so keep, flip, change. Uh, I need common denominators. First question is, can I turn this into a 9? And the answer is definitely a yes. Uh, so we can do a times 3 over 3. Always rewrite down below. Uh, so we have 6 ninths plus a negative 8 ninths. Uh, because we have addition, we now sing our song. Same size, add and keep, different signs subtract. Uh, and so we're doing 8 minus 6. I know I'm going to keep the sign of my bigger number, so I'm going to put it right there. Uh, and I end up with negative 2 ninths. Okay, and that is simplified uh, as far as it can go. All right, next one, I have multiplication. Multiplication uh, isn't bad because I do not need common denominators, uh, but I do have this whole number here that I want to get rid of. Uh, I'd prefer to do multiplying uh, only with improper fractions. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, so we have 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is negative 10 thirds and that is times our 4 ninths. Uh, our next step could be just multiplying straight across uh, but it's always good to see if you can cross simplify uh, before you do that. Uh, so I'm just going to look real quick. Uh, there's nothing I can do so we'll multiply straight across for both. Uh, I hate to love, so I actually hate, and I end up with negative 40, uh, and 3 times 9 is 27. And there we go. All right, next one. We have negative 7 ninths. I see division. Uh, I'm not going to ever divide fractions, uh, so instead I'm going to uh, multiply by the reciprocal. So let's go ahead, and since they're both already uh, just fractions, I don't need to do any... Uh, changing from mixed to improper. So I have seven nine, negative seven ninths, and I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, it's negative, so I'm just flipping these two, and I have 15 over 13. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and before multiplying straight across, see if we can cross simplify anything. Um, I can the 15 and the 9, uh, I can divide 3 from both of those. Uh, so if I divide 3 uh, from 15, uh, we end up with a negative 5. Uh, and if I divide 3 from 9, we get 3. Okay. All right, so now that I have cross-simplified, I can multiply straight across. I do have a negative and a negative, which equals a positive. Uh, so 5 times 7 is 35 positive, and then 3 times 13 uh, is 39, okay? And there we go. Highlight that, and we're done. All right, on to number 21. I see addition, so that's good. That means I sing my song. 
uh, same signs add and keep, different signs subtract. So I'm going to be subtracting these, but uh, they do not look alike. So I need to uh, just think for a second if I want to turn, turn the decimal into a fraction, which I do not. Um, so I need to look into changing that fraction into a decimal, okay? Uh, so I have a couple options. The first one, remember, is seeing if you can make a power of 10, okay? And so uh, I can make a power of 10, which creates an easy decimal. So I'm going to multiply by 5 over 5, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a rewrite. So I have a negative... Uh, let's see, 21 times 5, uh, I'm just going to have to do that on this side, is 105, okay, and then that is going to be over 100, uh, so I have 105 hundredths, uh, since I have more than um, a whole, uh, let's go ahead, I can actually write this as a decimal now. So I have negative 105, and I just need to make sure that the 5 ends in the hundredths place. So I have tenths, hundredths, which means my decimal point has to go here. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and do a rewrite here, 3937. Uh, and now we can go ahead and solve this. So same sides add and keep, different signs subtract. I'm going to take my bigger uh, digits minus the small. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and um, set this up. We have 1.05 uh, minus 0 0.3937. Get my placeholders in, and there we go. Uh, so let's not lose track of our sign here. So same size and to keep, different signs subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger digit, then you'll be exact. The bigger digit is negative, so I need to just remember that my answer is going to be negative. Okay, um, I have uh, to do some regrouping here. Um, so I know that I can go over here, take one less. 10, 9, 10, 10. Uh, and so we have 3, 6, uh, let's see, regroup this, and then take from here, we end up with lots of massive regrouping here, 14 uh, minus 9 is 5, 9 minus 3 is 6, and then we have our decimal point and a 0. Uh, so I end up with negative 0 0.6563 as my answer, okay? Um, now, we could have turned this into thousands if you really wanted to, or tens, hundreds, thousands, uh, you would have had ten thousands here. Um, so if you did do that, you would have had 3937, so 3937, ten thousandths, uh, and then you would have had to have taken your 21 twentieths and turned that into uh, ten thousandths as well. Uh, and so that would have ended up being times 500 over 500. So you would have had to have done this times 500 over 500. Uh, and you would have then ended up getting a negative 105,000, okay, over 10,000, okay? And we would have had the same situation here of different signs subtract, and then you would have had to have subtracted the your 105,000 minus your 3,937, and you still would have ended up getting negative 6,563, and that would have been 10 thousandths, just like we got, okay? All right, uh, but I think the decimals was probably quite a bit easier other than the annoying regrouping. All right, uh, last one here is 22. Uh, so we can see that we have subtraction, so right away I am going to KFC that sucker, 
So keep flip change, so that way that's done. Uh, same signs on and keep, different signs subtract. Uh, so I know I'm going to subtract and then keep the sign of the bigger digit. Uh, these do not look the same right now, so I can't even answer which is bigger yet. Uh, other than I have a pretty good idea. So what we're going to look into is which would be easier. Um, so for this one, uh, 7 ninths. I mean, I could look over at my fraction and see if I have 7 ninths on here. Um, I actually do. 7 ninths is on here, but the thing that you need to see is 7 ninths creates a repeating decimal, and you cannot do math work with repeating decimals. So that means I have to change this to a fraction no matter what. Uh, so I have 7 ninths plus a negative 7 tenths, because when we change decimals to fractions, we just read them and write them. Okay, uh, And now I'm going to go ahead and create common denominators because we're adding fractions. Uh, and I cannot turn the 9 into a 10, so I'm going to think about my multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 is my... Um, uh, or 90 is going to be my least common denominator there. Uh, so we're going to multiply by each other's numbers. So I'm going to multiply by 9 over 9 and multiply by 10 over 10. Create some new numbers here. So we end up with 70 90ths plus 7 times 9 is 63, but it's negative because I hate to love. Uh, and we end up with our common denominators, same signs, add and keep, different signs, subtract, keep the sign of the bigger digit, which is positive. Uh, so we have 70 minus 63 is 7 90ths, okay? And then you can go ahead and highlight that, and you are all set, okay? So those bottom two are probably the toughest with that. All right, uh, now we are on to calculator. Uh, and so... This seems like a good spot to give the secret word. So you ready? Let's head up here. Uh, your secret word for this will be dodge ball. It's a good secret word. Okay. All right. So there you go for your money. Let's go down to the calculator now uh, and 